She was an Oscar winner for On the Waterfront, an Unforgettable in North by Northwest, as well as an Emmy winner, and for The Kids Among Us was the voice of Katara in the animated series The Legend of Korra. Presenting the award to Michelle Atkins is Eva Marie Saint. Thank you. He swept me off my feet. Did you see me almost fall? Thank you. And you know, this is a whole new thing. They've been, we've been doing it a few years. The actors, terrific. I mean, being an actress, I just love every one of you. And you're not getting paid, right? Well, Oh, oh, you are? Just, just say no. They're, they're not getting paid. When reading a script, you hope to find truth, reality, a well-defined characters, and a good story. I found all the above in talking about the sky by Michelle Atkins, sitting right there. A lovely, lovely lady, believe me. This is just an aside, has nothing to do with anything, except yesterday at the luncheon, I met Michelle for the first time as a fellow uh, winner. And I just happened to be wearing a tan and, bay, uh, t t tan and black outfit. Guess what she was wearing? <laughs> tan, and, tan, tan and black outfit. And tonight I'm wearing white and black. And guess what she's wearing? <laughs> so we were meant to meet and be friends. I was captivated. I was involved. I was moved by the story of Walter, an aging man living in a Fleetwood camper with his devoted dog, Henrietta. I loved her. That had a happy ending, by the way, right? Did you read the whole script? Yes, of course you did. <laughs> I knew they were those kind of actors, right? <laughs> they, he was moving from trailer park to trailer park. We eventually learn that he was a famous country singer, but he had a drinking problem and he had a divorce, and he had his daughter, still has that daughter, but she has many problems, hopefully. It's not in the script, but hopefully she'll be helped. And he had a friend at the trailer park with his son, and all three became very close. We learn that Walter is very sick, and he's dying, and he has to deal with that reality and that is all very moving and admirable. I asked Michelle at lunch yesterday, how could this young woman write about such a character as Walter? And she said, quote, I um, met, met an assortment, oh, she said that she drove Uber. I always wanna say Uber. My daughter, she says, no, Uber. Is that the right pronunciation? Thank you. She said, I was driving Uber between jobs, and I met an assortment of characters and gained an update close, sometimes personal glimpse into people's lives, their voices, their appearances, and struggles came about for thoughts from my writing. Hooray for Uber <laughs> and for Michelle Atkins. Would you like to come up now?
like we used to do in high school. What are you wearing tonight? <laughs> Here, I, I'm giving this to you. It's not mine. This is yours. <laughs> I hope so. And just when I think things can't get any better, I'm told Eva Marie Saint is presenting me with this fellowship. <laughs> what an absolute honor. I'd like to thank Don and Jean Nickel for creating this fellowship, and Greg Beal and Joan Y for being the team that carries the torch on such a wonderful tradition. Your help and guidance throughout this process has been invaluable. To all the committee members, as a writer and a person that reads other scripts and gives notes frequently, I know this takes time, your time, and I thank you for giving us all that. A bit over a year ago, I drove for Rideshare, or Uber. Companies while writing the script. When I decided I wanted to be on the creative side of things rather than the number side, it took a bit of reorganization in my life. I thought often of Harper Lee, who was gifted a year of wages to write. And thank goodness she did, because we were given To Kill a Mockingbird. And I continued to think how nice that was for her. But that doesn't happen anymore now, does it? but it just did, and it happened to me. <laughs> I'd like to thank my many friends and family members who are here, and some who are not. I'd like to thank my mom, my constant cheerleader in life, my writers groups, my teachers, who took extra time to help me and lend an ear, to my husband, Joe, in front of you all, I would like to apologize for our many disagreements on grammar, proper word placement, <laughs> and stru sentence structure. All I can say is, love you, baby doll. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, Brandon McKenzie, my script writing buddy who inspired me in ways that can never be put into words. I am honored to have known you, my friend. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. Thank you. <laughs>